Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. Beyond the horizon where the Earth meets the skies exist places that are no man's land, twilight zones that are assumed to have no life. Here is the list of 10 places. Number 10. Yellowstone's Hot Springs If you were a serial killer and wanted to dispose a body, Yellowstone's Hot Springs would be the perfect spot. The body would dissolve perfectly due to the nature of the acidity and high temperatures in the water. This place is insanely beautiful. It even rolls off your tongue like dessert. Yellowstone Hot Spring The eye-catching flora and fauna is courtesy of some generous microbes, which can stand the heat and give the springs color-popping pigmentation. These microbes eat hydrogen, and some researchers have put them to use to generate an enzyme that duplicates DNA copies. Other than the heat-loving bacteria, the place is also home for heat-loving viruses. Number 9. In Bodies Below the Freezing Point of Water Some organisms seem to have superpowers. They conjure up ways to keep alive even below the freezing point. Some species of spiders and insects generate antifreeze as a mechanism to avoid freezing. Frogs, newts, and turtles are also in on this magic trick. By freezing just parts of their bodies and protecting their muscle fibers and vital organs, they are able to create a delicate balance for survival. Other organisms that have mad skills include Arctic ground squirrels, who can sustain a body temperature of 27 degrees Fahrenheit, while the larvae of Arctic files can survive temperatures of up to minus 76 Fahrenheit. Number 8. Entirely Alone for any food chain to be complete, a food cycle clearly outlining who's being eaten needs to exist. It's always fun to be at the top of the food chain. This is the case for Candidatus disulfurutus audexviator, a species of bacteria that will give the hard-earned label of the underdog. The bacteria's home is in a two-mile deep South African mine that is 140 degrees Fahrenheit. These bacteria in solitude is so innovative, it generates its own nitrogen and has deadly sulfate for dinner every night. Number 7. Galapagos Islands When Charles Darwin, the father of the evolution theory, saw these islands, he had an aha moment. Galapagos Islands are smack in the middle of the Pacific Ocean and house volcanoes that still are up to date. The fact that the islands are 600 miles away from land combined with the searing heat means that they don't welcome many visitors. Life that exists there was able to fly in with the wind, demonstrating inner strength. Some of these include plants that have airborne seeds, the Galapagos penguins that are famous for living in the equator. The most unlikely species to gain access into these islands has to be the giant tortoise, which is able to stay afloat precariously on a vegetation that it had turned into a personal boat. Since man can never let anything be, he has tried to introduce some new species where they land. They have to stay there forever, never getting a chance to interfere with the islands, which transforms naturally. Number 6. Acetic Mine Drainage and Runners Up in the 19th century, California's iron mountains were coveted. They had gold, silver, iron, zinc, copper, and other precious minerals. You had to be crazy audacious to take up mining in these mountains. The origin of the minerals was deep in a volcano with large amounts of sulfide, which combined with water to become sulfuric acid. Mining activity made the sulfides even more acidic and combustive with components of heavy metals such as arsenic. These mountains are said to contain the world's most acidic water. The miners risked a lot to get their pot of gold. Mining has since been discontinued. While man can't live or mine there, some microbes consider the place their holiday resort. They float on the acid lakes, forming a pink layer known as biofilm. Other organisms such as Archaea also thrive in the mine and eat iron and other precious metals. Some of the organisms have been recorded to stand pressure that is 16,000 times more than the normal experienced by species at sea level. Other than high pressure, this place has a lot going on, from extreme hot and cold conditions to radiation and nuclear reactions. See, only a fool would try to get gold from in there. Number 5. Beneath a Crack in Death Valley National Park The name enough sends chills down your spine. Death Valley National Park in the United States is a below sea level basin. This place is very low and arid. It's remote, expansive, and full of sand dunes. The park is a great tourist attraction. 
Fish, however, have no business being here, right? Yet some seven fearless species of fish have made this their home, where the last notable survivors shriveled and dried up 10,000 years ago. In all the dryness, the fish have found refuge in some salty springs in a place called the Devil's Hole, which is a tiny track through the rocks in the valley containing water. The Devil's Hole pupfish, as they are rightfully called, are endangered species and protected by the Endangered Species Act. In 2016, some drunken park visitors were arrested when they trespassed and went swimming with the endangered fish population. The Devil's Hole pupfish populations are slowly growing inside that small crack. Number 4. Deep Sea Vents It must be fun being a scientist, no? Deep sea vents are complicated habitats that were discovered in 1977 by scientists exploring the Galapagos Rift. Fueled by sulfur, these places are pitch dark and under a lot of duress due to the drastic temperature changes from freezing point to almost 750 degrees Fahrenheit. Groping in the darkness, the vents are formed when two oceanic plates meet. At that meeting point, the vents are created. Unlike earthquakes and volcanoes that break out, when a vent is created by oceanic plates, it spreads apart. Water gets into the activated crust. Minerals and heat flow out of the vents. The scientists were able to understand that the bacteria in the habitat were converting toxic vent minerals into usable energy forms in a process called chemosynthesis. Some microbes thrive and feed on the chemicals from these vents, mostly hydrogen sulfide. In here, you will find a myriad of other species such as worms, shrimp, mussels, and barnacles. Number 3. At very, very old ages. Bacteria also leads a stressful life, and when that happens, spores are formed. This tiny shell-like substance contains bacteria DNA and some cellular components which are mostly inactive. These spores can withstand all manner of traumatic experiences for extended periods of time. Heat, cold, gamma radiation, ultraviolet radiation, high pressure and low pressure. In 2006, some scientists recorded that they had found some spores in isolation from the gut of a bee in 25 million to 40 million years old amber. They apparently revived the spores and growth bacteria from the amber. Another group of scientists are said to have revived spores that were 250 million years old from salt crystals underground. Many have raised questions in this case, speculating that the levels of bacterial contaminations found underground is too much for support of any life. In the recent years, researchers and scientists have resurrected bacteria found on ice, which has been in existence for millions of years. The bacteria were suspended in some of the world's oldest ice found in the Antarctica. Here, the scientists realized that it was easier to revive younger bacteria that was only a million years old. Number 2. The Coldest Places on Earth Physicists are busy at work, creating the coldest places in the lab. While out here, fear of the cold is real. Ask the emperor penguins deep in the Antarctic. The elegant sweet animals spend long months in minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit temperature during the breeding period as they incubate their eggs and feed young ones. This is a task they take so seriously that they spend time in absolute darkness and don't even eat. These clever little creatures know the principle of keeping warm. They come together in communes and, in an embrace, share warmth and reduce the portions of their body that are susceptible to feeling the biting cold. They interchange amongst themselves between the inner circle which is warmest and the outer circle where the cold is more adverse. They additionally have mastered the art of reducing their metabolic rate by 25% and their constant temperature by a few degrees. On the other side of the spectrum, Spectacled Elder, a rare duck that needs open water to survive, braves the cold when the Arctic is frozen. Scientists were baffled how this duck gets through the winter season. Turns out, the ducks in flocks come together in bundles after finding small cracks between the ice plates, and holding on to each other, they share out their warmth and create a small area of open waters that is just enough to prevent them from freezing. Number 1. In the Stratosphere just six miles above the ground, there is a layer of the Earth's atmosphere called stratosphere. This is where the protective ozone layer is. It's also where destructive dust storms in the Sahara Desert and other deserts in the world move soil yearly, causing respiratory illnesses. 
This is majorly because of the large number of microbes that live in this layer and are caught up in the excitement of the dust storms. Dale Griffin, a geologist of the U.S. Geological Survey, has been able to collect microbes in dust that is a tan altitude of 60,000 feet. Up there, he found a diversity of fungi, bacteria, and viruses, which are mostly considered to be human pathogens. Some of them include Legionella, which causes Legionnaire's disease, Staphylococcus, which causes staph infections, and a number of other microbes that cause lung disease. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up to my next video.